Yeah, police say that homeowner is cooperating with them. He handed over that gun to them that was involved in this shooting. As for the 23-year-old, he was shot and found in a vacant lot around the corner from the shooting. He was taken to the hospital where he later died. Sky Force 10 over the scene in West Philadelphia, where police say a homeowner shot and killed a man breaking into his Alfa Romeo SUV parked inside his fenced-in backyard at 44th and Fairmount Avenue. One neighbor says she heard shots fired around 1030 Wednesday night. I was asleep. All I heard was a, like three or four gunshots. Pow, 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 pow. That's it. The homeowner told investigators he confronted the man who he says used a brick to break into his car window. The homeowner confronting the man and fired several shots at him. The 23-year-old was hit in the chest and torso and died at a nearby hospital about an hour later. I'm not saying that it wasn't self-defense. Couldn't you have called the cops? You know, did he have a gun? Was he, I, I know he broke into your car, but was he threatening you? You know, he's 23 years old, he a kid, he's somebody's child. These are questions Philadelphia homicide detectives will be looking into. On Thursday, police were still at the scene and say the homeowner fears someone will try to retaliate for the deadly shooting in an area that neighbors say is prone to crime. There's so much violence around this neighborhood, it's kind of scary. Like, I, I can't, I don't, I, I'd be scared to come out sometimes because every day all I hear is boom, boom, bam, bam. Yeah, scary situation for folks in that neighborhood. I asked if that homeowner could face charges in this case. The DA's office says that right now the homicide unit is leading this investigation. And if they do make an arrest, then they will discuss what those charges will be. We're live at the Roundhouse. Johnny Archer, NBC 10 News.